even though the Mancandia FAQ is not a basics instruction, I thought I'd give a few pointers on how things work underlying the rigging and animation system uh, of Mancandia. <coughs> Doing this on a simple model, this is just a cube that's been subdivided a few times, and uh, we'll see how we add rigging to the simple thing. Now, <coughs> The way you rig things in Blender is typically with armatures, um, but before we even go into that, um, the basic system is using modifiers that deform uh, an object. And these deformers can be armatures, but they can also be lattices and hooks, as we can see here. So here's our basic mesh, and we can add these modifiers in a stack to it. And some of them don't even relate to animation. For instance, I can add a subsurf modifier, and this subdivides the object smoothly, and it's used very commonly on characters. I can add a modifier that does relate to animation, which is the lattice deformer. Now, deformers such as the lattice don't do anything by themselves. You need to have an actual lattice object. So I'll add a lattice at the same position as my object. And <coughs> I'll do Alt-R because I don't like to have default transformations on things typically. And here we have a new lattice. Now, the lattice has a name which is called lattice. And we can type that name here in the object field for the modifier. And now the lattice is deforming our mesh. Now, if you select the lattice and move it around, you notice nothing happens. However, if you select, go into edit mode by hitting tab or going to edit mode here, and you select one or more points of the lattice, you'll notice that they do deform the mesh. <coughs> now, that's useful because it allows us to scale the lattice and make it fit the shape of the area we want to deform, like so. And so this gives us a very kind of intuitive way. If I select all the points, they deform everything. If I select fewer points, they only deform like so. And <coughs> you can change the resolution of the lattice here and add, not in edit mode though, you can add more subdivisions into the lattice vertically or horizontally uh, as you please. Let's leave it basic for now. <coughs> Another thing that's cool about these modifiers is that they often have a vertex group limitation. And so what that means is we can go into edit mode on our mesh and we can create, select a bunch of points, and we can create a new vertex group right here by clicking new, calling this uh, lattice, for instance, or lat, and assigning these points to it. We can also do that in weight paint mode, <coughs> and we can, in this mode, nicely paint the weight of this vertex group with different brushes. So I can smooth the effect on the middle, or I can use this filter here to just automatically smooth what's under the uh, under the mouse. So here we have that. I'll filter here too. So I have this newly created lattice, uh, ver lat vertex group. I have this lattice here. And I'll simply type the name of, before I do that, let's go into edit mode on our lattice. Select some points, move them. Can we even rotate them or scale them like so? And you can see the influence that it has on our mesh. Now I'll type the name of that vertex group here, and you'll see it's only influencing the top part. Now you notice the deformation is kind of ugly, and that's interesting to note. And it's because you have the subsurf on the stack here, and then you have the